Well, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining me uh, today. And we're back at Norfolk Triumph uh, out in Watton near Norwich and we've got another review for you today. And it's the, the all new actually for 2022, the Tiger, uh, the Triumph Tiger 660 Sport. And I'm quite looking forward to this. Uh, quite, quite, um, yeah, quite interested in this one myself actually. Uh, based on the Triumph Trident 660, uh, pretty much all the same. A um, few changes, obviously, it's now uh, an adventure sport bike. Anyway, enough about that. Let's jump on and see what she's all about. Nice and easy to get to the old side stand there, ignition on. Love this dash there as well. Very similar to the, the Trident again there. The screen. Yeah, adjustable, very easy actually. I'll leave that all the way up at the moment. Clutch in. Plenty of fuel in there, which is good. It's not done many miles this, so we're going to have to go nice and easy. Uh, we'll go this way, I think. Yeah, like I say, it's not done many miles, so we're going to take it nice and easy. don't think the bike's actually running. They've only just got a hold of this, actually. So it's very, very new. 2022. Um, love this position, actually, straight away. This rider position is absolutely uh, spot on for me. Um, looking over the screen actually as well. It's very windy today. It's dry though, so I'd say hopefully you can hear me okay. The brakes, cool. Let's say warm the bike. I'm just going to gel with the bike. Take it nice and easy. And uh, yeah, warm her up. Very clear that, that dash there as well. It's a multi-function TFT, TFT stroke LCD display there. So the top section there you've got your, your LCD and the, the lower section there is your TFT. Two rider modes as well, road and rain. Very easily to adjust on this switch gear here. We'll run through that in a bit. So this, yeah, this model, this is the... It's actually brand new really. It's the, the adventure sort of sport. Stroke sort of tour of this. I mean there's all sorts of accessories you can stay there forklift <laughs> there's all sorts of accessories there's a massive selection of, uh, of accessories genuine triumph accessories i think there's over 40. all with the the, uh, the triumph two-year warranty as well so you've got confidence there i mean they do panniers color-coded panniers Let me adjust these mirrors a little bit should do that before I set off really, shouldn't I? <laughs> the visibility in those mirrors is probably the best I've seen for a long while. 10 out of 10 for that. Really good visibility there through those mirrors. It's flickering away there actually, the, the rev counter. See the bike is in the running in process. I'm not going to go too crazy, like I said, it's very, very windy. Anyway, very, very comfortable bike. I'd like say I'm probably going to mention it more than once that it is uh, obviously the, the same engine, a lot of the same specifications as the Triumph Trident 660, which is, you know, they've sold absolutely loads of those. Very, very good bike, that one. This one's got the, the 41 millimeter um, upside down separate function forks so one basically works to get you know separate to the other one one's compression one's rebound 150 millimeter to travel really nice to ride this really nice one thing i have noticed it has no cruise control on here so if it was to go touring it would be very useful to have the cruise control i will pull over got this wind probably not the best day to be coming out on this machine there you go. Switch gear here as well. Uh, all the information there you need. Temperature gauge there. Fuel economy. It's got over 17 litre tank on here as well. Giving you a, a nice decent range I should think. So I will run through, all, run through all the specs in a bit when I pull over just up here. 
try the brakes up to 60. Oh, the brakes are brilliant. It's got the the dual 310 millimeter discs on the front with the twin pot Nissan calipers and a 255 millimeter single caliper, a uh, single disc, and a Nissan single pot caliper on the on the rear there. Try them brakes again actually, 60 mile an hour. I'll tell you what, you cannot grumble about that at all. Really nice position, really comfortable. Um, be nice for the pillion on the rear as well. Actually, I think the seat is 835 millimeters. The plane's up there. Yeah, the, the seat is 835mm, but they do do a, a low seat for this as an additional option, which goes down to 805 I think it is anyway, I'll, well that's like we'll run through, that's to be sure. And they do a comfort seat as well. I'll well, say so there's, there's loads of specs for the machine, which I want to run through and uh, make sure I get them right. So there's a lot to talk about with this bike. A lot to talk about. It's actually got the going back onto the suspension. It's got a remote preload adjuster as well, which I'll run through in a bit as well. It's so windy. <laughs> I mean, funny enough, I'm not actually getting blown about that much. It's all if I'm showering. <laughs> Lovely crystal uh, clear display there. The one thing what I like about this this uh, well this this actual I mean I have rode the tri the Trident I'll put a link up in the corner somewhere here uh, here or here uh, the Trident 660 and I was kind of yeah, feel free to watch that video but one thing they do get they have got right with this bike is the it's the same as the obviously as the Trident and the the, the, the torque delivery through the the rev range there. can actually upgrade as well should you want to to uh, a quick shifter for the you know the ease of riding uh, I don't actually mind you know on this sort of style of bike using the clutch um, in the traditional way lovely color this one as well comes in three different colors um, very nice really really comfortable ride this I like say so you could you could go touring on this. Um, definitely have no issues with that I would say. The screen, like I say it was it is adjustable actually, single-handedly. Pull the screen up and down there. I'm gonna leave it up. Really, really maneuverable this. So actually a, a really it really is a pleasure to ride. say those brakes you've got confidence in those brakes it's got the Michelin tires on here as well which are, are absolutely amazing amazing uh, speck of tire on this bike so you've got confidence in those really 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 smooth cool we'll pull over just up here and I want to give you a thorough walk around of the bike with all the specs Really nice riding position. I'm sitting nice and upright here. What's it like for the feet down? Yeah, I'm on the balls of my feet. Not so. It's 835 millimeter seat height. No issues there though. Uh, if you are sort of a, the tad on the on the short side, then uh, you could opt for that reduced seat height, couldn't you? Really impressed so far. Well done. I'd say if you, uh, you know, fancy a test ride, get yourself out if you're in the area. Norfolk Triumph. Thanks for the loan of the bike today. You can ride this exact bike. I got this demo in. So uh, thanks for the loan of the bike today. Much appreciated. Pop yourself over. Go and see him. Great, great bunch. Take a left here. 
and I think they've done a very good job first impressions like I say it's a, it's a first impressions review this I've, I've literally just jumped straight on from uh, from the dealers self-cancelling indicators as well I just noticed so uh, some people don't like them I'm quite a lover of them really but I am inclined to leaving them on <laughs> the other thing I will say is this has got full LED lighting all round on this model they really have spec this bike out nicely really good visibility through these mirrors no vibes either no vibration at all there gearbox lovely and smooth no issues there I have no issues finding neutral back there a little bit annoying that's flashing away there but obviously the bike is still in the running running in settings what's the horn like nothing about yeah okay as far as horns go can't moan at all button cluster very uh yeah i think it's just off the trident actually same sort of button cluster here so uh cursor type buttons there uh, indicators below there horn engine modes road rain we'll stick we'll leave it in we'll leave it in road i'll we'll just turn the indicator on then we'll leave it in uh, road on the right hand button cluster there you've got your your start stop your kill switch and beneath there you've got your hazards my first impressions are very 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 impressed oh being overtaken so i can't go too crazy because we are running the bike in that's not my bike non-adjustable forks on the front there by the looks of it uh, and yeah, like i said earlier it's got the rear shock unit single single shock unit which is adjustable with that remote preload adjuster so that'd be nice and easy soften the bike up should you want to or stiffen the bike up probably work, work in your favour uh, when you've got your, your luggage on there and your pillion on the back it's a very very comfortable all round bike no weight on the wrists here nothing pull in just up here so don't go anywhere and I'll give you a thorough walk around this lovely machine and run through the specs just pull in here no one about out of the way Oh, it's coming in a bit hot then. <laughs> like I, say, it's I would say it's road focused this. It's a road focused bike. I'm pulling here out of the way. Uh, neutral. Oh, hang on. First. Yeah, very easy to find neutral there from first upwards. We'll try second down. Second down into neutral, very easy. I will leave it in gear actually. Give her a little rev there. That lovely triple howl there. Well, I'll turn it off now. Leave it in gear. Side stand. Yeah, very easy there. Nice big side stand. One thing I have noticed is there's no centre stand, which would be useful. All right, okay. So take the old gloves off and I'll run through the full specs of the bike. Right, okay. So here we have it. The Tiger Sport 660 2022 model, this one and it's a uh, liquid cooled 12 valve double overhead cam with an uh, inline three cylinder with a 240 degree firing order so like i say 660cc exactly the same engine as the the popular triumph trident it could also be made a2 compliant for the new riders with a conversion kit by triumph which will be very very handy that for the new rider uh performance wise you're looking at 80 brake horsepower at 10,250 rpm with uh uh, the torque would be 64 newton meters at 6,250 rpm. It's got a multi-point sequential inje uh, electronic fuel injection with electronic fuel control. Now, that was very, very smooth. That it's a little bit dirty actually, so sorry about that. Uh, the roads are not really very, uh, very dry today. But anyway, never the mind. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's got the uh, also got the stainless steel three into one headers there. Uh, with a single-sided stainless steel silencer low slung there which I love that 
nicely tucked away down there. Um, I was going to tell you, it's got X-ring chain. So with the X-ring chain, if you're sort of unaware, uh, it will give you a longer life, up to double the life of the, uh, the normal O-ring type chain. Uh, so yeah, that's that's a that's a benefit as well. Uh, clutch. So it's got the wet multi-plate slipper clutch, uh, six-speed gearbox. So uh, I found that very very smooth. That no issues with that at all. Uh, and I actually really do like the style of the bike as well, but we'll move on to that in a minute. Uh, the frame is a tubeless steel per, uh, perimeter frame. Uh, Twin-sided fabricated steel is the swinging arm. And that's really, I think it's been extended actually, the swinging arm on this model uh, to change the, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the specification there. Uh, aluminium wheels, front and rear, 17 inch alloy wheels there. Very nice. Uh, tires actually you've got the uh, amazing actually the, the Michelin Road 5 tires on there as well I think let's have a look yeah Michelin Road 5 tires Sus uh, suspension is the Shara 41 millimeter upside down forks with a separate function cartridge uh, forks like I said earlier one's compression one's rebound uh, giving you 150 mi 50 millimeters of wheel travel and that's, that's the same on the rear. The rear you've got the Sherham um, mono shock rear shock unit with remote hydraulic preload adjuster and 150 millimeters of travel again. So here's the adjuster here. So it's very easy to adjust your preload there on that on that uh, adjuster, which would be very easy rather than trying to get a spanner in there. And so yeah, that's that's actually a, a really good really good bonus that one. Uh, discs, as I spoke about earlier, are the Nissan two pop uh, sliding calibers on the front with 310 millimeter discs there and uh, ABS again so you can see the ABS ring there what else can I tell you the rear is a Nissan single piston sliding caliber again uh, with a 255 millimeter disc uh, there and single yeah single pot Nissan caliper so uh, yeah no issues with the brakes there uh, the, the display we we'll turn that on. We, we did see that earlier. Um, not going to run through all of the specs on the display there, but very easy to uh, maneuver around the, the menu there. Uh, no issues. That very clear. I'm actually quite a lover of that. It's very crystal clear. That uh, it's a multi multi function uh, display there, giving you two rider modes: the road and road and rain by pressing this mode button here. So there's the road, and we've got. The rain, very easy adjustable there. Leave it on road actually. There, seat height, as I said before, uh, is at 835 millimeters. And I was on sort of the balls of my feet there. I'm five foot seven, um, so yeah. But you can actually buy a low seat, You're taking it down to 810 actually, 810 millimeters. So a 25 millimeter reduction there. Uh, you can also buy a comfort seat as well. So yeah, if you if if you uh, you know we're going to go on long tours with this the wheelbase of the bike is 1418 millimeters uh the trident i think was for 1401 millimeters so it's a longer swinging arm on this one on the tiger um the the wheelbase sorry the the rake is 23.1 uh, degrees on this model and the trident being 24.6 degrees so that's been changed as well uh trail 97.1 millimeters on the tiger uh, the trident was 107.3 millimeters so changes again there fuel tank like i said earlier 17.2 liters uh giving you a four claimed 4.5 liters per 100 kilometers which would be around with my maths about 52 mpg there uh it's claiming a range of 230 miles which would be uh, very good very good that lockable fuel filler cap on there as well uh service intervals of the bike 10,000 miles or 16,000 kilometers or 12 months whichever comes first uh, this this model is actually a very low cost of ownership they're claiming the lowest workshop costs and maintenance parts uh you know cost in its category there the new tiger comes in three colors according to the triumph website lucerine blues and uh sapphire black which is 8450 pounds uh karossi red which is this one and i love this color uh, and graphite which is 8550 so what's that yeah another 100 100 pounds for this color but i do love that color and, and uh, the third color is graphite and sapphire black at 8450 so the bike's coming in at 8450 
Uh, like I said before, there's over 40 genuine accessories from touring, luggage, uh, and styling items. And that all comes with uh, Triumph's two year warranty. So you can, you're looking at things like, um, well, protection, including frame protectors, engine covers, fork protectors, the list goes on and on. Color coded belly pan, hand guards, rubber tank pad, heated grips. And I'd, I would probably recommend heated grips uh, personally. Well, it depends where you are in the world, but yeah, I mean, I also like, it's got these quick release fittings on here as well for your panniers which would be very useful and you can uh, connect a top box on there as well I love the look of it myself personally I think they've done a really good job so uh, very impressed there very impressed love the colour love the colour of this one the only thing I would say uh, personally is that I would like a centre stand so you can obviously you know get in here clean the bike nicely oil the chain no issues there you know uh, yeah just, just make your life a little bit easier really and also another thing i did notice uh it would be it'd be nice to have cruise control as well but there you go beggars can't be choosers <laughs> so look at that yeah nice looks very nice with those uh, integrated lights there as well so you've got your daytime running lights your low beam here as well we'll put the hazards on and have a look at the Actually, you can buy, you can get uh, strobing indicators as well for this model. There's a Triumph accessory as well. Let's have a look at the rear. Yeah, very nice that. Nice big grab hands hand, handles here as well for your pillion on the rear. And you could also have a top box, so the pillion they're actually colour coded top box, so they colour coded to the model of the, uh, the colour of the bike, which would be very nice, and that give you your right your pillion rider pillion passenger on the rear. Uh, put my teeth back in. Pillion passenger on the rear, a nice little rest there and a support at the back. <coughs> cool, getting out of breath now, talking too much. Um, yeah, and like I say, it's derived from the, it's a 660, so it's the Trident, exactly the same as the Trident, um, but I think they've done a very good job. Uh, the dash there, nice clear fuel gauge, rev counter across the top. Uh, what else have we got? <coughs> Trip counter, turn these hazards off. I've already gone through the button cluster. You can you can cycle through here. So you've got all of the all of the, the service interval. Done. The bike has only done 70 miles at the moment, so like I say can't really go to. Can dim the dash down. Loads of settings in there as well that you can play with. Uh, the screen. I've already demonstrated the screen. Nice and easy. Single single handed. You can slide the screen up and down. Okay, I think we should uh, jump on and ride some more. All right, okay. Oh, I jump on. Side stand up. Uh, key on. She's in gear at the minute, so neutral. I'll try and manoeuvre myself out of this position. I've uh, <laughs> got myself in. <laughs> oh, God, I could have... Messed it up. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> nice to stand up on as well. She's lovely to stand up on. You want to give yourself a bit of a rest there, you know. Sounds really nice when you open her up. Really nice. Yeah, that's one thing you can do with these triumphs, and that is you can spec them out to, to your, your sort of desire. So, however, you, you know, most triumph riders or owners, when they buy these these new triumphs, they oh, a little bit of rear wheel slippage, traction control light flickering. <laughs> yeah, you can spec them out to your own desire. Go on the website, have a look on there. Uh, you can see there's so many different accessories you can you can add to this bike. It's rides like an absolute beauty. Absolute beauty. Excellent for the learner. I mean, I, I, the list goes on and on and on, really. I say, get yourself to your dealer. Get yourself out to your local dealer and jump on one. 
you can even ride this actual bike go go to the north of triumph dealer in uh, norwich if you're in that area and uh, yeah but anyway yeah i really do appreciate you joining me on this uh, review there's lots more bike reviews coming to 2022 so it's quite exciting really um yeah like i say this tiger range is a, is a very very it's a large range you know and this 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 bike coming in on the on the tiger in the new in the sort of that tiger range is uh it's quite exciting really i think they've done a very good job i mean i was impressed with the trial like i say there is a video on the channel have a look and uh you may want to test ride one of those um yeah but anyway thanks for joining me today and uh if you haven't subscribed, so, uh, consider subscribing, be much appreciated to have you along and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next sort of uh, review and uh, video. So take care, see you soon.